What is up today, fellow Sea Dew buddies? Today we're going to be doing an intake install on my 2019 RXPX 300, and this intake's made by Ruthless Racing, designed and made by Mr. Dave Alonzo, awesome guy to deal with, and he's got an awesome company going here with some really awesome parts. So full carbon fiber, water screen over the filter super super high flow filter like you can see the light through it right through the camera so what's going on is <clears throat> I've already got an intake on this machine if you've been following the channel but uh, I complained to Dave with the install because well I found it was a little bit tight and like he said well if you're gonna be a crybaby um, this intake probably isn't the kit that you want to have if you're a crybaby. So it was a little bit tricky to install because of the uh, reducer piece that you got to put on the supercharger, which I'll show you once I get this one off. But my issue and concern was this sensor rubbing on the side of the intake. And also the filter is right up against that charge pipe, which expands a lot when you're driving. So that pipe will expand and contract as it's going into boost. So he said, well, he said, I'll tell you what, order the other intake and uh, do a comparison video and show people the difference. So not saying there's anything wrong with this intake. Obviously this intake will work, it will perform, it does the job. And this intake is designed for the new 2020s and 2022s. So what Dave did was he redesigned an intake to perfectly fit the 2019. So as you can see, the filter's a tiny bit smaller. There's no difference in price, but um, regardless of the fact, I said it before on the first intake video, this guy makes literally the nicest, like picture-perfect quality gear for underneath your hood if you're somebody that's clean and wants it to look clean underneath the hood, you're gonna wanna go with his intakes, not the other companies, because his intakes literally shine and are just so much more superior to the rest. So it's super sunny out and it's dark down in that hole, so what I'm gonna do is get my screwdriver out, I'll get this intake off that I had originally installed, and we're gonna put this one on, and I'll probably just end up selling the one that's on here because I'm almost positive I'm gonna be happier with the fitment of this one. So I'll grab my screwdriver, <clears throat> crawl in the hole here, and get that intake out of there. All right, so this is the one that I had originally installed. And as you can see, it's four inch and it's just a 90. This one here kind of has a little swiggle to it. And it's only a three inch until it hits the filter and then he opens it to a four and the filter is quite a bit smaller so again i believe this is going to be much easier to install and a much better fitment on my 2019 and it should be because that's what he designed this kit for originally when i bought this one this kit wasn't quite out yet so um anyway he hooked me up he gave me a smoking deal on it and um this here piece that you have to use with this four inch one on the newer ones. I'm telling you right now, guys, if you're a crybaby, this piece here will, uh, will really get your gears grinding because what I ended up having to do with this was I heated it up with a, t a torch, which probably wasn't the perfect idea. I didn't melt it or anything, but you know, you could put it in the microwave, you could put it in your oven or whatever to heat it up make it softer and more expandable because I had a super super hell of a time getting that piece on with your head down in this hole right there so anyway this one's now off and like I say I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna put this up for sale and sell it and now I'm gonna install this new one that he sent me which is designed for the 2019 machines and uh, anyway, I'll get this in here, get it bolted up, and we'll see how it fits, see how it looks. And then you guys can make the decision for yourself. 
All right, new intake is in already. Literally took me longer to open the box than it did to install it on the machine. So down here, we had perfect fitment, slid right on the supercharger, just like candy. We got the nice label of his Ruthless Racing label on there. We've got the Ruthless Racing label facing up on the filter. And we've got a ton of clearance here between our filter and charge pipe. And a ton of clearance between the sensor and the intake pipe. So this intake is definitely the one you want for your 2019. At least that's my opinion. And uh, man, Dave, you did an awesome job. This is one amazing looking product. I can't wait to show this off at the lake back in the summer. The only thing, too bad the coolant bottle has to, you know, essentially hide it. Maybe we should come up with a relocate kit for the coolant bottle. But anyway, super happy with the way that intake fits. And uh, anybody local, if you got a new RXP 300, I got a nice intake here. I'll sell you for it if it's a new one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And you know, guys, please check out this Ruthless Racing site if you've got any C2 at all. It doesn't have to be an RXP. Dave's got parts for all kinds of makes and models. And super great guy to deal with. Very professional. And he's just, you know, awesome, awesome guy in general to talk to. So, uh, not only does he have really, really nice parts, but he backs them up and he's a great guy besides. So, uh, check him out. And enjoy, uh, enjoy installing your parts in your Sea-Doo. Thanks for watching my video. Now, also before I end this, for you guys that are worried about, you know, this line here that hooks to your factory intake uh, I wouldn't get too sweated up over that myself I've been running it for a while like this I just let it blow down in the engine bay and I haven't had any blow by yet but Dave also has a solution for that he's got a catch can kit which uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to install this or not but look at the detail in his stuff like just phenomenal so um see what happens i may end up putting this on if i get bored but for now i'm probably just going to run it the way it is try it out and uh very very excited it was funny i actually haven't even driven this machine since i installed this intake um i stored it for winter right after installing that and making the video of that style intake so uh literally never even got to drive it <clears throat> That being said, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of sound difference between the two. Because at the end of the day, it's still breathing through the same size hole that's on the supercharger flange. Even though this is a 4 inch and this one's a 3 inch. So anyway, that's my two cents worth. But we'll see how it sounds when we get to the lake. And uh, again, if you're worried about this, just order up a catch can from them and... Uh, I'll probably be doing an install video on this regardless if I use it or not, so, but it's definitely there if you're worried about it, so, thanks for watching, please subscribe. Well, other than a bad ground connection on my battery when I installed it, a little bit corroded up, um, anyway, she fired right up, just listen to this intake idling. You can hear that supercharger just wanting to chew. Oh my god. Wow. That is crazy sounding. And that's just in normal mode. I'm just letting it warm up here a bit. Then I'm going to check the oil and then I'll give her a few little shots here with the hose hooked to it. <laughs> 